The Hula Valley hosts millions of birds and thousands of visitors each year. This is one of the richest sites in the world for uh, bird watching. Israel sort of have, um, is a junction between three uh, continents and birds that are essentially trying to avoid high mountains, uh, great expanses of water. They funnel through very specific flyways. Some of these migrating birds fly 2,000 miles in three to five days without a meal. They fly from Europe and Asia to Africa. For many, Israel is the halfway point. That point is the Hula Valley, part of a 3,700 mile stretch from Syria to Mozambique. The Bible mentions the bird migration as part of a metaphor. Even the stork in the sky knows her seasons, and the turtle dove and the swift and the thrush observe the time of their migration. Some 400 species of birds stop for refueling, and a fraction even winters here, including 30 to 45,000 cranes. Listening to them talk, one can understand why King Hezekiah said he chattered like a crane. In fact, it's not just noise. Experts say crane parents and chicks can actually recognize each other's voices. 20 years ago, there were hardly any cranes here because the natural swamps would drain for farmland. The ground didn't work for agriculture, however, so experts restored part of the lake. And the answer was essentially to give it back to nature. And so the project has gone sort of uh, in a circle, and we are back to trying to renovate, trying to uh, sort of reproduce what existed here in the past. That and a special feeding project brought the cranes back along with the visitors. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to educate people about birds, about uh, nature. Uh, I think that you don't need to be a bird lover when you are coming here, but you are definitely a bird lover when you are going out of this site. Visitors to Agamon Hahula Reserve can ride the safari wagon into the midst of the cranes. Guides say there's no place else in the world to see so many cranes in such a small area. And bird watchers come from all over to see the phenomenon. I don't even care if you like birds. You have to experience this and come and see thousands and thousands and thousands of cranes. If you're a birder, I don't think you could find a better place to come to see the um, variety of species, as well as the, the atmosphere and the beauty of the place. It's just unrivaled in any place in the world. For now, these cranes are getting ready for the long flight back to Russia or Finland for the summer. But they'll be back next year, along with the bird lovers. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Agamon, Hahula.